Hi guys! It's Glenda with Freeland and Friends again. Tonight we're going to talk about taking that breather. That br breather to get away from the stress. And yes, it is a part of motivation. If you don't take it, you're going to end up so exhausted that you will not be motivated. And that is our topic for tonight. And if I seem like a little bit of a downer, I'm tired, I'm frustrated, I'm worn out, and I'm taking my breather. So click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and give us a thumbs up right now. And here we go. Hello, how are you doing everybody? I gotta tell you, I almost didn't do this. It's that inevitable day when the motivation is just, you've lost the motivation. But thank goodness it's at the end of that day. I did get things done. It's just worn out. And that's, that's okay because it means I did get motivated enough to get everything done. So I don't, there's nothing wrong with that. But motivation is, is a great thing and there's nothing about me that is not motivated. I'm just not motivated tonight. And what motivation I had today didn't come to much. But I did get things done. <laughs> you run into problems in life that are bigger than you, and that's inevitable. I got my projects done. I'm tired, but I got them all done. And I'm trying to deal with, I'm going to be 65 this next year. And we just got through open enrollment. And so I called about getting on a Medicaid Advantage, which I I did, but now they can't accept the fact that I have had prescription coverage since 2006 when Part D came in. So I'm having to go through all these phone calls. You've all dealt with insurance before. You know what it is. You know it's frustrating. <laughs> and you know it can get your nerves on edge. And so that's kind of where I got to be tonight. I just, I made cold phone calls today. They weren't the right places to call. So they gave me other places to call and I just didn't have the energy to call them yet. So thank goodness for Joe. He's going to help me call tomorrow. Hopefully we will get this straightened out soon. It's actually, I think, a matter of not communicating well because one accepted the fact very well that yes I've been covered on my husband's employer this whole time for medication. Another one evidently hasn't got that message and so we get these letters. So if you've been through it you know the pain I'm going through. If you haven't been through it <laughs> it'll be coming up at some point in your life. So they want to charge me a penalty if I can't prove this and I can prove it if they will realize that even though it's my husband's employer I am a, a dependent on there so so you end up beating your head into a wall <laughs> actually I didn't I felt like it but I didn't anyway I got this beautiful card again this thing goes all the way down to my knees from my husband and I got him a cardigan which is about the same color we could model these cardigans I swear we could take a I think maybe we will we could take a picture together in our cardigans and call ourselves a matched set <laughs> we've been matched this is all we just as well model our matched sweaters I got a he got me a Wi-Fi expander so that my Wi-Fi will get through every part of the house. I don't know why it's having a diff having difficulty doing that if it's just objects in the way or what. 
but nevertheless I got this and I'm going to try and get that figured out but I think I'm going to wait until my brain is in a little better condition <laughs> or until one of the kids is over and can understand it better than me I hope you guys have had a wonderful Christmas I really do I did Joe and I had a great Christmas we had it was just the two of us because we love to let our kids have their day now they may have to go to their other in-laws so but we did get to go down to that because it was a beautiful day and well you saw film I took down there and so we got to go to that it isn't a bit it's not a big gift exchange we do like to get something for the folks and so I made those ornaments this year so I gave them their ornaments which they like to hang in their room on their bulletin board. The gift is being with them. That's the gift. And then we had our lights that we went out and visited. So we will be having, Saturday, we'll be having our children over for our big Christmas. <laughs> so Christmas Day, it was Joe and I, he made a turkey breast and a green bean mushroom vegetable casserole and oh golly oh potatoes deviled eggs <laughs> and a chocolate silk pie and that we just finished that off that was good the whole thing was good so we kind of had our turkey comas and so then the rest of this the rest has been trying to finish up projects which I have done and then creating more projects for me to do which I have done and almost <laughs> sort of create have created yet another one for myself to do I have not done yet and I don't know when I will <laughs> giving myself a little break it's okay to take a break doesn't it mean you're not motivated doesn't mean you're not active it means you need a day or two to settle down take a breather let the tension kind of fall off the shoulders and relax them neck muscles that's okay because if you don't do that you're going to get to a point where you're just not motivated to do anything anymore <laughs> you'll you'll just exhaust yourself and it's not worth doing that even to your family because you get in you get grumpy both you all get grumpy and that's not fun so I'm not going to be on long tonight. I just want to say, hey, take a relaxing day or night or whatever and just give yourself a break. It doesn't make any effort, take any effort to smile and wave. You can do that any day. That's pretty much it. I just want to tell you, take a break let yourself chill <laughs> and then go back at it when you've caught your breath so that you aren't snarling stress does not have to rule your life it's a necessary stressor <laughs> like this thing with getting all of this insurance stuff worked out Take a walk, get away from it. Take a day and say, I'm not dealing with it today. I've got to have that breather. I hope you've had a very Merry Christmas. We have a new year coming up, a new decade coming up. And I wish you all the best then. And I will be back tomorrow. 
and like I said Saturday we have our get together with the family I'll give you some shots of that my granddaughter the other day I hope you really enjoyed her she loves to do that I need to remember to have her involved because she especially with the puppets she absolutely loves being a part of that the way that we interact together that it's just so fun. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Oh, be sure to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Click that notification bell. I know I got them out of order. You can figure it out, and I'll see you then.